Yesterday, we celebrated the memory of the founder of the Jesuits, St. Ignatius Loyola, a 16th century saint. Today, we celebrate the memory of the founder of the Redemptorists, the, most, the order of the Most Holy Redeemer, an 18th century saint. His order today, that order founded by St. Alphonsus Liguori, has now 5,300 members, and they serve in 78 countries, and they're dedicated to preaching the gospel, especially among the poor. Because as Pope St. John Paul II described Alphonsus, he said of him that he was a close friend of the people, a missionary who went in search of the most abandoned souls, a founder who wanted a group which would make a radical option in favor of the lowly, a bishop whose house was open to all, a writer who focused on what would be of benefit to people. This saint, born in Naples in 1696, certainly was a man raised up by God to fit the time and the needs of that moment in history because he went off preaching the gospel and people were so inspired by it that a group forms around him to do the same. And he had great trust in our God. And we see that in the first reading. Moses had great trust that as that cloud moved, he would move the ark and his people along the path, the journey. And Alphonsus did the same. He was a man of great prayer, and he trusted that God would lead them forward. He says, those who trust themselves are lost. Those who trust in God can do all things, and certainly, our first reading today is all about trust. And it inspires us as we go along life's journey to know that our God is always leading us. We might not know the path, but we know, as St. Alphonsus says, the past is no longer ours. The future is not yet in our power. We have only the present wherein to do good. And that's how God is leading us today and every day in our path and journey to do good. St. Alphonsus is a doctor of the church, a theologian who wrote books, and one of his most famous is on moral theology. And he tried to help people to discern, discern what is good and right, how we are to journey in our day. He saw that there was a tension always in moral theology between laxity, not really following one's conscience, saying, oh, well, I'm saved anyway. And between a rigorism, a kind of legalism that wants to follow the law so strictly that it need, leaves no room for God. Instead, St. Alphonsus so fittingly describes the moral life as a life of love. That's what it means to have 
a conscience that wants to do good. St. Alphonsus, being a man of prayer, there's a beautiful quote of his. And it's very much reminiscent of how the 16th century Saint, Saint Ignatius Loyola also talks about prayer. And so Alphonsus writes, acquire the habit of speaking to God as if you were alone with him, familiarly and with confidence and love as to the dearest and most loving of friends. Speak often of your business, your plans, your troubles, your fears, of everything that concerns you. Converse with God confidently and friendly, for God is not one to speak to a soul that does not speak to him. So let us today speak to our God, knowing that our God is ready to redeem us, to save us, knowing that our God wants to speak to us so that we can better live, in St. Alphonsus Liguori's words, a moral life, a life of love.